I think it depends where you're at in this world. They're probably more common uh, in other places. But, but you think about it, what are, the, what are the parasites really eating? Food you're eating. So if you're fasting, again, if you look at healing, fasting is one of the best things you can do. Uh, but one of the other things uh, against parasites is butter because fat, you ever notice fat and butter never molds, right? And so when you consume the fats, it kills and reduces the concentration of the microbes in our gut, which are causing many of our problems of IBS, and I'll go down the list of that. So so I, I personally think fasting can help with parasites, but I'm not sure what parasites we're talking about in general, but I think it's bacteria, yeast, and viruses. I'm a naturopathic doctor. Everyone assumes I do parasite cleanses for patients. And I don't. I will prescribe antiparasitics in situations that actually require it. Because the question here is actually a larger question. It's not whether parasites are the problem. It's whether or not you're a good host for them. We actually have parasites in us at all times, and we usually have a symbiotic relationship with them. They shouldn't be causing you problems unless you as the host have an issue. So like Dr. Kills was saying, if you're on a proper human diet, if you are eating things that don't actually feed the parasites, and they can just be there as our friends, just like all the other microbes in us, you're not going to have an issue. So stop believing the hype.